In this video, we're going to be talking about how to work the front of the leg from the top of the foot all the way into the hip. So when you're working this, the foot, you always want to start with the feet hanging off the edge so you have access to the ankle moving when you want to work it. So put your, put your hip up against the client and communicate why you're doing this in case you're a new client and use this as a support system when you're trying to work the top of the foot. And when you're working the top of the foot, we're going to encourage our client to step into the hip. That way we can engage that muscle and really start to lengthen the top of that foot. And then slowly let that go. And you want to ride right over the edge right there where the ret retinaculum is. If you're not familiar with the retinaculum, that's like a little band where all the tendons travel through. And you just want to free that up and give it some ability to move better. So you can do this quite a few times um, before you move on to the, the shin itself, but I'm only going to do this once for the video, and I'm going to move on to the tibialis anterior, the fascia of right here, of this section of the shin, and I'm going to be using my knuckles. So you can place your knuckles, just a soft knuckle on the shin, and you want to kind of get into a lunging position because you don't want to be jamming your weight down into the client. You want to pr uh, press one foot back, put one foot in front of the other, and then you want to start to move up towards the knee. And it's important that your the hand that's not working, that you don't have it chilling over here or on the table. Either have it on the client so you're not losing stability and you're not transferring weight into the other hand. And really start to drag the tissue up towards the knee. So I'm going to encourage you to move your foot up and down. So when you have clients move through the work, they're getting a lot more benefit of letting their brain recognize that there's movement availability there and they can stretch that and move that. Although doing it passively, passively meaning without them moving, it's still good. It's much more beneficial or uh, it's much more value when you're having them move. get to the patella or the kneecap, you want to stop right before that and just soften your way out of that. So now that we've gotten the top of the foot and the shin, we're going to work around the knee here and we're going to use our, our finger pads and we're going to just ride the outside of the patella of the knee and we're just going to drag that fascia up towards the hip. There's a common theme here when we're working the front of the leg that we're just having a direction of up. And right around where you get to the fascia of the quads, go ahead and lightly come out and let go of the muscle. So now we're moving on to the fascia of the quadriceps. And again, I'm gonna be using my knuckles and I'm gonna be placing them right above the patella or kneecap. And once I sink in and I feel a good hook into the muscle, into, to the tissue, I'm going to start dragging my tissue up towards the hip. Now, it's very important that you, you're not doing this. You're not jamming down into the client. You're at an angle and you're coming from your hip and your, the back leg, the one that's extended out, and you're pressing up towards the hip. You want to give them a, sen a sense of stretching or lengthening. You don't want to give them, give them a sense that you're jamming them down into the table. And to be an effective, uh, really good technique, you want to make sure that you go nice and slow. The faster you go, the more you're going to miss tissue, you're going to miss really good stuff. So make sure to go slow and work your way up nice. The faster you go, the less the client will feel and the less you will feel. You want to make sure that <coughs> you get to feel what's under your hands and they can feel what you're doing to them. And as you get closer to the hip, just let your client know that you're going to be working with one hand underneath towards the top of the hip, which is towards the hip bone. That's where these tissues attach. And you're going to work right over the bony edge here. Now, this is part of your pelvis, so when you're going over it, make sure, again, not to jam down into it, but just slide nice and soft over it, and then slowly get out. All 
Okay, so now that we did the top of the foot into the knee and the hip, we did it in different segments. I'm gonna show you with one movement how we could work this uh, leg. So I'm gonna be working the top of the foot with my knuckles here. And I'm gonna have my client just press into my hip just slightly so I can get a little bit of engagement. And then I'm gonna have him come into me just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna slide right on top over the retinaculum, which is that little band I told you about. And I'm gonna encourage them to move their foot back and forth. And I'm gonna be sliding my way up towards the kneecap. And again, proper positioning of your hip and your feet will really allow you to do this well, especially if you wanna do this for the long run. As you get closer to the kneecap, you're gonna change your tool or change your angle if you, if you like to, you don't have to, but I like to. And then change into your fingers and then slide on the outsides of the patella or the kneecap, whatever you want to call it, and get a nice hook into the quad and then switch your tool again and then all the way to the top of the hip. Now I'm just showing you this as an example. You could do this however you like. Um, going up is a really good communication for the client because you're giving them a sense of lift. You're lifting their body towards their head and you're giving them more length in the top of their body, in the front of their body, excuse me. And again, right at the hip, just slide right under, underneath the short and go into the hip bone, on top of the hip bone, excuse me, and then come off right there. 